What's going on, folks? This is Filthy Rich. This is Ken Ma. Today, we want to welcome you back to Inversion 101, and today we're going to discuss some in-depth strategies on offensive gameplay for Inversion. All right, so let's talk about the Gravelink first. I mean, the Gravelink is what everybody's always asking about, right? Gravelink is essentially what's going to let you command gravity. I mean, you're going to always have it with you. You have it with you pretty much at the start of the game, and you take it from the enemy. Take it, use it as a tool of revenge, right? It's going to let you do all these cool things. And Gravelink itself is actually a weapon. So the Gravelink is a weapon. So just in case you didn't know, use the Gravelink, experiment with it, pick things up, and show it all around. Let's talk about the combinations that you can use with the Gravelink. So right now, an example that I want to jump into is the use of the Gravelink and low gravity. So the Gravelink is strategic. You can't use the Gravelink anywhere you want. What you have to do is you have to kind of plan out exactly where and how best to use this. So for example, when you're starting out in the game, you're probably gonna have about two or three shots of low gravity. So what you can do is you can use that on that sniper that's hiding behind cover. You can pull him up out of cover, and then you can use that as a, as a way to distract him. His aim isn't gonna be as good. Um, later on, once you get a little bit better, obviously, you can put him up in the low gravity and then maybe grab an object out of the environment and throw it at him for a one-shot kill. That's a really, really cool thing. Now, let's, you know, we touch a little bit up on low gravity. Let's fill him in on high. Like, what's a cool situational thing that I would be put in to want to opt out to use high gravity? So high gravity, what it's going to do is it's going to increase the weight, you know, three, four times. Once you hit an enemy with it, you'll see him stuck to the ground, he's kind of struggling, you've got about five seconds to decide what you want to do with him at that point. So, for example, Rich, I know if you're really good at up close combat, you're, you're like, you're just a master of the shotgun. Mm -hmm. What I can do is I can hit him with heavy gravity, he'll be stuck to the ground and I can just count on you to run up and take care of him. Movement, mobility is an important thing, but another thing we need to touch up on is zero gravity. Zero gravity is uh, these entire portions of the level where the player, environment, enemies, everything is floating. Everything's always going to be constantly floating. That means grenades, they don't land, they go and float until they blow up. So how am I going to kill people? Easiest way, um, instead of trying to flank them, okay. you can flank them normally, right? You can kind of bounce between objects with your grappling. Grappling will actually pull you toward almost like a grappling hook. You know, yank you towards an object. Once you start getting pulled towards this object, you can take out your shotgun, you can take out your sniper rifle, then you've got these cool mid-air battles where you're just kind of shooting at your enemy, and they'll be doing the same thing to you. So it's not uncommon to be darting back and forth and trying to get that, line up that perfect shot. And it just, it looks cool and it plays great. So the next thing that we're gonna cover is vector shifts. So vector shifts are one of the coolest things in this game, playing on two different playing fields against the same type of opponent and having everything work as they normally would, but with both priorities, mine and yours, still functioning how it would normally, but I would just see you on the side of a wall and kill you. I mean, so if you see, vector shifts aren't just cosmetic. Everything is completely shifted. Enemies are gonna be running at you from the side of the wall, as you can see. Um, now, because of that, they've got these different angles on you now. So your normal cover that you thought was safe, is not necessarily gonna work the right way. So they can get these shots on you. Your cover's already destructible, it's falling apart. What you're gonna have, wanna do in this situation, use your gravel link, find out anything that's around you in the environment, anything you can find. That's right, so make sure guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Inversion 101, where we talk about all the different offensive strategies. This is just a tip, we got a whole bunch more coming your way. Well, stay tuned, we'll see you next time.